Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 in a virtual machine using VirtualBox 4.1. Uh, what you need to do is have a Windows 7 disk or ISO file for you to be able to install. Right now I am setting the RAM. You can set this to whatever you'd like. And you need at least one gig of memory for Windows 7 to work well. Looks like it gave mine about two gigs. In the screen, you have to create a virtual hard drive that will expand on your real hard drive as your virtual hard drive. Uh, gets bigger and bigger. And here we have to change a few options. You have to add the ISO file or CD to boot. So you have to place it in the uh, CD tray, the virtual CD tray that is. And here's my ISO file. And here you have to change the boot order to make the CD first. You could also enable 3D, but I didn't. You don't have to. And then just click start, and it should boot up right into your ISO file to install Windows 7 like normal. In this video, I've edited out the installing, most of the installing processes for the sake of time and save you all from boredom. But you just gotta click next here and install. through all this stuff right here. Set your time zone and install updates as you see fit. Select the home network and wait for it to finalize your installation.
And here we are. We are in the desktop. And first thing I'm going to do is just uh, unload our ISO file, which is basically ejecting it. And I'm going to install the guest editions. This allows you to move the mouse in and out of the virtual machine without having to do anything on the keyboard. And it allows you to maximize the window um, and uh, yeah, just go through the next buttons and uh, always trust that and install. But like I was saying, you'll be able to resize the window and the virtual machine desktop will adjust to it accordingly. You will need to restart after you install the guest editions. And there you see it, my mouse is moving in and out fluently. And here is my notepad from my Vista machine. Typing a nice sentence copying it and I'm opening up notepad within the virtual machine to show you that you can copy and paste items through the host and the virtual machine. Having a virtual machine can be very useful. You can uh, create a web server, or you could just use it as your everyday computer because it's separated from your host computer. So if this gets a virus, your host computer will not be affected. You can also mess around in the virtual machine and not have to worry about screwing up your operating system. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. See ya!